the director of the Medeca Center, an independent Malaysian research firm. Ibrahim, thank you so much indeed for your time. Were you possibly expecting something like this to happen? Yes, I mean, the talk of having early elections has been in the air for, you know, pretty much the whole of this year. And this has especially been the case when uh, the leader of the ruling party has been pressuring the prime minister to uh, dissolve the parliament and call for uh, an election uh, as soon as possible uh, within the current year. So we've been waiting and uh, now that it has materialized. So we will see how it goes. And how much do you think this is due to, I don't know how to describe it exactly, the pride maybe of that largest political party because it had held power for most of the past few decades in Malaysia. Of course, then there was a reversal of its fortunes and now it's been back in power. Is this really about that one party or is it something else? Well, it's certainly about the ruling party, the National Front. And they had been in power for more than 60 years uh, in Malaysia since uh, the country gained independence. And the uh, insistence on having this early election largely stems from you know their recent experiences. They have been winning uh, state level or provincial level elections uh, in the early part of this year and they've performed very well. And the intention is to ride on the momentum of those small victories and capture the national parliament. At the same time, it is also to try and get this election done before the opposition parties begin to cooperate with one another. Yeah, I mean, so do you think, because 60 days is really not long to organise uh, an entire campaign and to present a new set of proposals to the voting public, do you think actually the result may end up being almost quite similar to the makeup of Parliament right now? Uh, there is de definitely a possibility that we will not uh, have a very strong uh, political party that can command uh, a full majority in Parliament. Uh, so that possibility exists and therefore, you know, we're looking at a possibility of a post-election coalition uh, comprising of either the National Front, if they perform well, with parties coming from East Malaysia. So there is one possible scenario. But, you know, within the next uh, several weeks, uh, as the country heads into the polls, there are still a lot of uncertainties because the opposition parties that have been in loggerheads over the last couple of years, they could somehow find a way to cooperate and come together. And that could alter the results significantly. Ibrahim Sufyan, really appreciate the analysis. Thanks so much.